So since Deep Zone Crit weapons are craftable, I wanted to make a video on the best role to craft for the Heritage Shotgun. The shotgun honestly rarely ever leaves my kinetic slot in PvE, so I wanted to make a video on what I think you should get on this weapon as well as how you can craft it. So in order to craft it, first you need to get 5 Red Border Heritage Shotguns to drop. So in Deep Zone Crypt is a pinnacle raid of the week, you can farm the second encounter Atrax, which is the encounter where the Heritage Shotgun drops from. Now you can also buy them from the chest after defeating the final boss for Spoils of Conquest if you have enough saved up, so you can touch your luck that way too. However, it's probably easier to farm the Atrax encounter as you can one floor him and get it done super quick. And if you want to farm this raid, I'll be farming it all week this week, so twitch.tv slash tricks, come on by, I'll help you out, we'll try to get some red boulders, I'll be looking to craft this too so now when you are able to craft it for the barrel you want to go for hammer forge it's definitely what you want because you get an extra 10 range and it's already high in handling and you really don't need stability on the shotgun honestly for the magazine assault mag is a good option because it will increase the rate of fire by five allowing you to get your next shot off a lot quicker or you can go with accurized rounds for another extra 10 range now for perks for pve the go-to is going to be reconstruction which will reload your weapon and overfill the magazine over time whether it's in your hands or not so in the magazine heritage does have six so what reconstruction will do is it will overfill the magazine by double of what your magazine can hold so if you have a plus one magazine it can hold 14 but by default it's six so it will be 12 but that is still nasty think of having 12 shotgun shots just ready to go at any time in pve and for the second perk slot recombination is what you want as it will increase the damage you do after getting elemental kills meaning you can have your energy slot or heavy weapon out and get kills with those and when you pull out your shotgun it will have a stack of recombination shots as well as your magazine will be overfilled thanks to reconstruction and you can just go to town on your enemies. These two perks combined are absolutely disgusting. It's definitely the go-to role in PvE. Now for PvP for perks in the first slot, you do have Slide Shot and Threat Detectors. They're probably going to be your best two options. Threat Detector is nice because it will increase your stability, reload speed, and handling when targets are in a close proximity. And Slide Shot is always a good option because when you slide, not only does it partially reload the magazine, but it will also increase the range and stability. And for the second perk slot, we have Killing Wind, which is, you know, always a good option for Crucible. We also have Moving Target, which is always a good option for the extra aim assist as well as snapshot sights if you like that nice snappy feel to your shotguns it will definitely give you that and you could argue that swashbuckler is a pretty good one for pvp me personally i love it on shotguns but i honestly don't find myself getting too many melee kills with this weapon so i don't think it's going to be worth it truthfully but let me know if you're going to be rocking swashbuckler i'm honestly curious to see what people are rocking for both pve and pvp and for the masterwork, you want a ranged masterwork, but you can argue that you want a handling one. Either way, I'd say range or handling, you really don't need stability on this weapon. I honestly have used it so many times, and I don't even worry about the stability on this weapon, so. That's gonna be it for the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one, alright? Peace.